the floor made up in robot. My name is Jordan, Jordan Gonzalez. I am a huge fan of Team Fortress 2, the game created by Valve. I may spout quite a lot, but I don't have that much of an appealing or respectable attitude towards my fellow playmates. I am often labeled as a stunt more than often. However, I feel like this behavior against the people I play with has backfired greatly due to something that happened just two weeks ago. I still shudder from the thought of reminiscing back just to type this out. I was just playing TF2, like usual, not treating teammates or other people with respect, shitting on the enemies of the opposing team. It's nothing out of the ordinary. I was having a great gaming session, until I went down to pick up my Uber Eats order. Once I got back upstairs to resume my gaming session however, TF2 wasn't running at all on my monitor. Instead, it was my file explorer. It was on this certain folder located in the TF2 files, so I decided to just look upon the contents of a zip file located in said folder. I decompressed the zip folder, and it took a really consuming amount of time to just decompress it. It felt like watching paint dry just from not having it done and easy. Once it did decompress though, I was met with three image files, and a video that was labeled with, Meet the Scout 2002, by the file label. I was weirded out by just the sudden appearance of these files. I drug my mouse over to the first image which was just called, Monitored. I opened it in my photos, since there was no preview for the image which was strange enough. It depicted two small eyes in a pitch black void. I stared at it for a couple of seconds trying to find things other than the small eyes, before out of the corner of my eye when I was least expecting it, the eyes, blinked. I was instantly shocked by this and sprung out of my chair with an incredibly disturbed face because of this. Why did it blink? Or was I just imagining things? I couldn't really comprehend anything at the time because I was still in a buzzy mood after being fired from my second job. I decided to X out the image, and hovered over the other image which was labeled with strangely, another singular word. It was called, Naughty, and this made me slightly think back to how I acted in my TF2 games when I played Scout. I was probably thinking too deep into this, but I was still scared after I imagined the photo blinking at me before. I opened Naughty, and it showed a monitor length image showing a shadowed scout in the middle, with a human heart placed on the left side of the image. I didn't really know what this image meant at all, it was just a pitch black scout with a heart on the left, so I just decided to X out. That was when I realized that the X button wasn't even there. It was just the red highlighted button, no X. I couldn't escape out of the image. While I was occupied trying to close it, I saw a vague light start appearing out of the scout's face. It was a fully white shadowed human face coming out of the black shadow that was the scout's face. As it slowly faded in, not even doing anything, I felt my heart racing as I didn't know what was happening then. Before I could think of anything to do, the image just closed itself. It was weird. I felt an image of a monochrome scout with white teeth marked within my brain, and I was creeped out because I don't even remember seeing any image from before like that. I decided to move on to the final image, which was titled, Actions Have Consequences Gonzales. I had to click on it to show the label, and I was shocked. It literally just said my last name, genuinely. What the fuck is this thing? The image itself was of a smiling human man's face, plastered in monochrome colors. I just stared at the picture holding my hands to my face to brace whatever horrific shit happened next, but oddly, nothing actually happened after I opened it. It just opened like a normal file, and nothing paranormal happened. I closed it out, and decided to check out Meet the Scout 2002, the video in the folder. I clicked on it to be met with what seemed to be a prototype version of Meet the Scout, the video that was made by Valve to showcase the Scout's cunty nature. For some reason though, the audio was really odd and rough, and didn't have the charm of the original Meet the Scout video. Well, it is a prototype, so there's no real future charm it has like the one we have today. When there was three quarters of the video left, I didn't even close it out and the video just ended randomly. I didn't even get to finish it, so I opened it back up. 
but when I did, the audio became much more rough than before, but it was relatively the same other than the vaguely more visible white color on the stout. However, the video closing happened once more, and it didn't even finish halfway this time. I clicked on the video again, like it was some sort of inducing trance that made me want to finish it. The audio was even more distorted, and the stout was always locked into one expression which was just him smiling with a little grin. His skin was even paler now. It closed, I watched again. I slowly started to realize Stout was deteriorating over time, and I didn't even care. I just watched the video over and over again, before the music wasn't even intelligible, and it was just a garbled mess, as Stout was completely just monochromatic colors and pixels. You couldn't even see the big ass smile on his face now. I finally finished the video, feeling satisfied with my result, before I saw the scrubber on the video start to extend and the video went on longer. I didn't know what this meant, but I saw two small white eyes appear again, before two big rows of white teeth appeared onto the screen out of nowhere before the entire folder closed, deleted, overloaded my computer and crashed it completely. I was pissed, shaking the monitor before rebooting it again, and just watching it update and the process was so time consuming. It finally reloaded, before I felt a cold chill down my spine. I don't know why, but it felt like there were literally eyes behind my back. I ate some of my burger I got from Uber Eats, and looked back with fear, before realizing nothing was even there. I slowly stood up from my chair holding my food, and went to sleep for some reason. I was still very sleepy, and I was probably imagining things, so why not just go to sleep? It's probably just all in my head. That's what I thought when I rose the next day, before I went outside to go meet with my friends. I talked with them for a little while, discussing me being fired and all of that stupid shit, but then out of the corner of my eye, a tall shadowy figure appeared within my sight hiding behind a pole. I looked up at it in fear before it quickly disappeared. I could quickly make out from what I saw, that it was reminiscent of Stout from TF2. It looked really weird too, from what I remembered. On the walk home, I saw the figure again and again. I kept looking back to see what it would do. I kept playing TF2 how I normally would, being a skunt and all that shit, but I could feel cold breathing on the back of my neck whenever I would start being an asshole to the people I played with. It creeped me the hell out, but I didn't stop his behavior. I kept doing the same stuff and the same figure kept appearing within my tunnel vision every now and then. Sometimes it wouldn't even leave and it would just stand and watch me. I eventually started to get paranoid when the figure wasn't even there and was freaking out horribly before I realized it didn't even appear one day, which was today. Today I was walking back from home after going to the park with my cousin before I had the instinct to look back, which I then followed by doing so. I saw the entity that was reminiscent of Scout from TF2, in the flesh. No pixelation, no blur, not even shadowed in the dark. Just in plain sight, right there, standing and breathing slowly. I could hear it raspily inhaling and exhaling air from its huge smiling mouth. I started to back up, before I sprinted into my house with as much of my core power would let me run. I slipped into my house so fast, and ran directly into my room, when I realized there was a looping media of the creature's head laughing maniacally playing on my monitor. I tried to close it so it wouldn't hear me, but it was still playing. It wasn't media, it was literally playing on my monitor. It was actually there. Before I could think of anything else, my front door opened, and stopped for a few seconds of quietness before I heard it sprint with its meaty footsteps up to my room. I nearly shrieked, but didn't because of my hand being over my mouth, and hid in my closet quietly but quickly. I shuddered inside of my closet, and I feel like it's been over two hours ever since I've been hiding inside of my closet, which leads to now, where I'm still hiding in my closet at this moment. I feel like I may survive this horrifying beast if I just lead it away, and then I can finally sleep, but I don't know. I can hear his raspy breathing every time I remember moments of vaguely seeing this lanky piece of shit, but now for some odd reason, I can feel it.